Hello students, today we will learn about advanced features of PowerPoint. Do you know that now you can create a presentation using advanced features of Microsoft PowerPoint 2016? Slides is the most important component of a presentation. Let us first understand how slides are different from a presentation. A presentation is a collection of slides arranged in a continuous manner. A slide is a part of a presentation. Several slides make up one presentation. A presentation looks more attractive when it contains different components like text, images, video links, tables and many more such components that convey the speaker's ideas effectively. Have you ever seen how you feel interested in the class when your teacher uses a presentation to teach you? How to create photo album the kind of images used in a presentation livens up the presentation. A variety of images can be used in a presentation, both from the internet and from your own personal collection. The photo album feature in PowerPoint helps you to select the photographs from your entire collection. We can collate all the pictures in the photo album for easy access while making a presentation. It is important to note here that we cannot store pictures downloaded from the internet in the photo album. The downloaded images that we want to use in the presentation have to be saved in the system on which we are working. Once the images are saved in the system, you can insert them in photo album to be used in your presentation. To create a photo album for your presentation, follow the steps given below. Step 1 Go to the Insert tab. Click on Images group. Select the Photo Album drop-down menu. Select the New Photo Album option. Now the Photo Album dialog box will appear. Step 2. Under Album Content in the Insert Picture from a section, choose the File or Disk tab to select pictures from your computer. The Insert New Pictures dialog box will appear. Step 3. Next, choose the location and select as many pictures as you want to make your photo album. The pictures that you select will be added under the Pictures in Album box. You can take a look at the preview of the picture that you select in the preview window in the dialog box. After selecting all the pictures, you can rearrange the pictures according to your choice. You can do so by clicking the up and down arrows below the Pictures in Album box. Step 4. To end the process, go down to the album layout where you can choose the picture layout, frame shape and theme to collect images into your photo album. To choose the picture layout and photo frame shape, click on the drop down arrows next to picture layout and frame shape. Step 5. Once you have added all the pictures that you need to use in a presentation, click on the create button. And voila! Your photo album presentation is ready! Ink Equations Adding text to a slide is a very easy task, but have you tried typing a mathematical equation in a slide? Did you find the task easy? The next feature that we will study, Ink Equations, is one that makes this task easy. Using the Ink Equations feature, you can easily add math equations to your presentation. Using Ink Equation is easier if you have a touchscreen device that you can connect to your computer and you write the equations on the second device. PowerPoint converts them into a text. In case you do not have a touchscreen device, you can use a mouse to write the equations. To add math equations to your presentation, follow the steps given below. Step 1. Click on the Insert tab. Go to the Symbols group. There, click on the drop-down arrow of the Equation button. Step 2. Click on the Ink Equation option from the list. Step 3. The Math Input Control dialog box opens. Take the mouse pointer to the light yellow colored grid area. Notice that a small black dot appears now. This is the cursor from where you will start writing the equation. Now in the grid area, write the equation that you want to. 
Step 4. Once you complete, click on the insert button which is present at the bottom of the dialog box. If you have made a mistake in any part of the equation, you can erase the mistake using the Erase tool from the toolbar, which is located at the bottom. Screen Recording As the name suggests, Screen Recording is a feature in PowerPoint which enables you to record your computer screen and related audio as it is playing. This recording can then be embedded in your presentation. This feature comes in handy when you want to explain something that you had done practically. To make use of this feature, you will need a sound card, microphone and speakers. Follow the steps given below for adding a screen recording in PowerPoint. Step 1. In a slide where you want to record the screen recording, click Insert. Step 2. Click the screen recording option from the media group. A small pop-up window appears. Step 3. Now click on the Select Area button and drag the mouse over the desired region to select the region of your screen you want to record. Step 4. Click on the Record button if you want to add audio to the recording. If you don't want to record the audio, do not click those buttons. In case you choose to record, a 3 second countdown alert will pop up showing that the recording is about to begin. Step 5. To stop the recording, bring the mouse pointer to the top of your computer screen. This will enable the pop-up window again and you can click on stop to save the recording. The recorded video will automatically saved in the current slide. Students note some important facts. Special effects can be added to the recording by using the playback tabs that appear on the ribbon. Smart Lookup Often, while making a presentation, you might come across words or phrases whose meanings you do not know. In such cases, what we generally do is that we go to a web browser and type in or copy the words or phrases in the search box and look up for the meanings or usage. Doing this again and again distracts us and increases our work time on a presentation too. To stop you from undergoing such a long, cumbersome process, PowerPoint 2016 comes with a new feature called Smart Lookup. The Smart Lookup feature automatically finds information on the web using Microsoft's Bing search engine. This saves our time from searching for anything on the internet browser time and again. To use the Smart Lookup feature, carry out the following steps. Step 1. Select the word or phrase that you want to search about. Step 2. Click on the Review tab. Select the Smart Lookup option within the Insights group. Or, right-click on the word or phrase whose meaning or usage you want to know. Select the Smart Lookup option from the shortcut menu that is displayed. Step 3. This will open the Smart Lookup task pane on the right side of the slide. All the results from various online resources will be available in this pane. No more. Smart Lookup task pane contains two tabs, Explore and Define. Choose any of the two options depending on the kind of results you want. You can use a scroll bar to look at the results. So now, with this useful tool, you can build on the information that you have without leaving your work on the slides. This is indeed a very handy tool as you do not get distracted while looking for meanings of words or phrases that you do not know. Now, let us see how to add video clips in a slide. Sometimes, if we want the audience to understand our message quickly and clearly, the best way is to show them a video. For example, if you want to show how you enjoyed your holiday with your family in Manali, you can add a video to your presentation. Now, this is a good idea to explain things as doing it with text and bullets would be difficult. We record a video and embed that video recording directly onto a slide and then play the video as part of the slideshow. You can insert a video in your presentation from your computer, a connected local storage device, YouTube or from a website that provides an embed code or link. After you insert the video, you can format the presentation on the slide in the ways you like. 
You can move and resize it, display it in a frame of your choice and even adjust the brightness or color contrast. Inserting video clip in a slide To insert a video clip onto a slide, Step 1. Click on the Insert Video button shown in the Content Placeholder to display the Insert Video window that contains links to all the video sources you have configured Office to connect to. On any slide on the Insert tab in the Media group, click the Insert Video button and then do either of the following. Step 2. Click Online Video to open the Insert Video window. Step 3. In the Insert Video window, click the video source that you want to insert and then follow the process to insert a video from the selected source. Step 4. Click Video on My PC to open the Insert Video dialog box. In the Insert Video dialog box, browse to and select the video file and then click the Insert button. Moving videos on a slide To move the video on the slide, select the video and then do either of the following. Step 1. Drag the video to the new location. Smart guide might appear on the slide to help you align the video with other objects. Step 2. Press the arrow keys to move the video by small amounts. To resize the video on the slide and retain its aspect ratio, do either of the following. Step 1. Drag any corner handle. Smart guides appear on the slide to help you align the video with other objects. Or, on the Format Tool tab in the Size group, set a specific video height or video width and then press Enter to change both settings. Setting volume of the audio file To set the relative volume of a video soundtrack Step 1. Select the video Step 2. On the Playback tool tab in the Video Options group, click the Volume button Step 3. In the Volume list, click Low, Medium, High or Mute Let's quickly have a look on Chapter Review a presentation is a collection of slides arranged in a continuous manner. A slide is a part of a presentation. Several slides make up one presentation. You can embed a video recording directly onto a slide and then play the video in the slideshow. Using the Ink Equations feature, you can easily add math equations to your presentation. Screen recording is a feature in PowerPoint which enables you to record your computer screen. Special effects can be added to the recording by using the playback tabs that appear on the ribbon. The Smart Lookup feature automatically finds information on the web using Microsoft Bing search engine. The Insert Video window that contains links to all the video sources you have configured Office to connect to. When playing back a video, you can display it at the embedded size or full screen.